And so it begins our journey to the very top of English football with Leicester City. So welcome to the first episode of the brand new Leicester City Career Mode series and I'm genuinely so excited to get this series underway. On this channel, we've normally done career modes with elite teams, but I think now is the time to switch up the scene and take a team like Leicester to the very top of the Premier League and maybe even the Champions League. A few years ago, under Claudio Ranieri, Leicester City pulled off the impossible. They managed to win the Premier League against all odds. And ever since then, Leicester have actually become a really competitive side that usually finishes in the top half of the table. And in fact, this season under new coach Brendan Rodgers, they're doing even better than in the top four. But it's our time now to take over this Leicester team and maybe push boundaries even further. Make Leicester a Champions League side, a team that competes in the latter stages of the competition, a team that wins the Premier League. That is our goal with Leicester City. We're going to make them one of the best English clubs in the world. So if you guys are excited for this Leicester City career mode series, make sure to show your support by dropping a like on the video and tell you what, if you guys can smash out 3000 likes, that's right, that's probably the biggest like target I've ever put in any of my videos. But if you guys can smash that, I'll guarantee you guys an episode tomorrow. So go down there and drop a like in the video. And if you are new around here, subscribe for daily FIFA 20 career mode content. Just to get this out of the way, we're going to be playing the entire series on Ultimate Defense difficulty to give ourselves a very good challenge. The first thing we do in any of my career modes is basically analyzing the squad we've got to decide where we should be making improvements and basically deciding our tactics and all that sort of stuff, maybe when which players should be leaving. So let's get this started. I'm looking to play a 4-3-3 holding formation. I think this formation fits the team really well. Tactics wise, this is what I want to go for, at least for now. Balance to try and figure out what's the best way to play with Leicester. Have a look at our first 11 and tell you what, we've got some proper good players in here. The first thing you'll notice is how good this midfield is. Madison and Didi Tielemans is a proper world-class midfield. Tielemans is only 22. We know he's a bit of a career mode legend. We've got Ndidi who's only 22. Madison who's only 22. I mean, this midfield is going to be here for the entirety of this series. That's how good they are. Up top, we've got Jamie Vardy and I'm so excited to use him. I know he's 32. I know he's going to start dropping in his overall, but I'm hoping to get at least one good season out of him. He's going to be so much fun to use. We've got Harvey Barnes who's a very good talent. Only 21. Ayose Perez as well. A decent option at 25 years old. Right now, he's going to be playing on that right side for us. Even though Leicester were forced to sell Harry Maguire this summer, Chilwell, Soyunku, Evans and Pereira form a remarkable defense. I mean, Soyunku, only 23, 6 foot 1. He's got some good stance already. He's only going to be getting better. We've got Chilwell as well, another young talent. Johnny Evans is a bit dodgy, but he's been good, I guess, for Leicester this season. We've got Ricardo Pereira as well, 83 rated. He's going to be one of the stars in our defense going forwards as well as defending wise. And of course, we've got Kasper Schmeichel in goal. I mean, son of Peter Schmeichel, he's himself a legend, you know, Kasper Schmeichel. He won the Premier League incredibly a few years ago and I can't wait to see how he performs for us in goal. We don't really have a top quality bench, which I guess is expected for a team like Leicester, but we've still got some good talents like Demire Grades and his pride. Of course, all Brighton is a bit of a legend here. We've got Hamza Chaudhry, we've got Benkovic, Amati and even the goalkeeper Ward. Christian Fuchs, Wes Morgan, a few, you know, Leicester legends, as you can say. Uh, Mendy, Kapuzka, Nacho as well. A few players that I'm probably looking to loan out as well in this team. So this is the Leicester 11 we're going to be working with. I can already tell you guys which positions I think we need to invest in. A right winger, probably even a left winger, and definitely in defense because I'm not too impressed with Johnny Evans. But I want to keep this career mode as realistic as possible. So we're going to be making realistic signings. I'm going to be reading through the comment section, taking your opinion as well so if you guys have any transfer suggestions put them down in the comment section below so we've actually got a pretty decent budget to work with 42 million can't really complain i think we can make some proper good improvements to our team but I don't really expect us signing any world-class players as such. Press conferences are back for the Leicester City Career Mode series. Basically, this is where you guys get involved in the series. Y'all can ask me questions and I'll be answering them in every single episode. It could be related to anything. Our team, our transfers, maybe even in real life football. So it's completely up to you guys. So if y'all have any questions, put them down in the comment section below. And it's not just that, we've got season goals coming back as well for the Leicester career mode. Basically, these are objectives that we're going to try and complete over the course of this season. There are going to be six of them. 
all decided by you guys in the comment section. For example, Vardy Party could be one of our objectives where we've got to score 25 goals in the Premier League with Jamie Vardy. Now here's the catch. We've got six objectives all decided by you guys, but if we fail to complete at least four out of these six objectives, we're going to have to do a forfeit, which it's not going to be fun. So comment down below what season goals we should try and accomplish over the course of this upcoming season. I definitely want the Youth Academy to be a big part in this series and that's why the first thing we're doing is hiring a Youth Academy scout. Timu Taminen seems like the right pick from Finland. What a name though. 5 star experience, 4 star judgement, 2.5 million but I think we can afford him so let's get it done. As we are in England, it only makes sense to send Timu to England to bring us some quality English talent. So we're going to send him for six months and hopefully we'll have some proper good English talents in our academy. So as I said, the centre-back position is something we definitely need to improve upon because of, you know, the age of Johnny Evans. It only makes sense for us to bring in a younger centre-back who in the future can replace him without any sort of problem. And it seems like Axel Tuanzebe could be like the perfect choice. The English defender can play as a centre-back or as a right-back, so he's versatile. He's super quick as well. He's only 21. He's not really been given an opportunity at Manchester United in these past few seasons, so... It makes sense for him to start his career now at Leicester City. So we're going to scout him for a few weeks, see what information we can get and then hopefully make the move to sign him. Also, I'll be loaning out a lot of the youngsters at the club because I feel like that's the right move, especially considering we don't have European football this season. So I can't see them getting much game time. So loaning them out makes sense for their career. Also, James Justin, this is one guy we need to keep our eye out for because he's 69 rated, but he's got a good potential. So he could be a top player for us in the future. Now this one's interesting, Matty James, I've put him on the transfer list because I just don't think we're going to use him at all this season and I know he's a Leicester legend but I just don't feel that there's any point in keeping him. It's time to let him move on because even if we keep him we're barely going to use him because we've got so many better players in midfield so I've transfer listed him for that purpose. So we've got Kasper Schmeichel welcoming us to Leicester City, a great gesture from him. Greetings boss, on behalf of the whole team I'd like to give you a warm welcome at Leicester. I'm just going to say excited about the future and also one of the youngsters of the club is happy that we're going to loan him out. I'm just going to say glad we're aligned. So this is interesting, an offer coming in for Johnny Evans for about £9.2 million. Now... As I said, I want to keep this series realistic. Johnny Evans is doing really well for Leicester in real life and I don't want to sell him in our first window itself without giving him an opportunity to shine and that's why I'm rejecting this offer. We're going to give him six months to play for us and if he's doing well, we keep him. If not, then we get rid of him. So I don't want to make big changes to our first team at all in this first window. Here we go, we've got more details now on Axel Tuanzebe. He's already 74 rated, which I think is perfect. He's valued at about 8 million, 45,000 is his wages. I think we can get him for under 12 million. What do you guys think? Let's try and make this happen. Here we are negotiating with Manchester United's boss. Well, he does not look like Ole Gunnar Solskjaer at all. Probably looks more like uh, Louis van Gaal. But anyways, let's negotiate with him for Twansebe. A lot of you guys complain that I overpay for players. So, I'm going to be offering 8 million to Manchester United for Twansebe, which is his current value. So, let's see what they come back and say. 8 million, well... They want 9.9. .9. Let's try and bring it down a bit. We're Leicester City. Every bit matters. So 9 million. And let's see if Man United is willing to accept that 9 million. Well, they want 9.9. .9 and they aren't willing to go any further down. I think that's still a very good deal for us. He's got potential. He's only 21. So I am going to accept this. And we're still left with about 29 million to make more potential signings. So here we have Tuanzebe's demands. A rotation squad role. Five-year contract length. We can definitely work with that. 33,000 in wages and of course a 300,000 signing bonus and a five game appearance bonus. So let's try and remove the appearance bonus and submit offer and see what he comes back and says. He wants 34. You know what? I'll take that. That is actually less than his current wage. It makes business sense for us to, you know, accept this offer. And with that, we've just made our very first signing of this Leicester City career mode in Swansebe. Welcome to Leicester City. And here we go. Swansebe has been unveiled as a Leicester City player. Definitely one for the future, but I think he can also have an impact right now as well for Leicester City. Look at that 80 sprint speed. You guys know how important pace is for defenders. Well, 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 this is not good news at all, especially for Iheanacho. He suffered a broken ankle and he's going to be out for the next two months. Thankfully, we've got Jamie Vardy up top, but that's not good at all. 
Timu has certainly disappointed us. Not a single good player that we can sign. A bit frustrating, but hopefully next month we get better talents. So it's almost time for us to play our very first game of the series and I'm so excited to get right into it. Now, in terms of transfers, I'm not going to be making any more signings in today's episode because I feel like I want to first read through your comments and then decide how we should proceed. So if you guys have any transfer suggestions, put them down in the comment section below. We've got about 32 million to work with. Our focus now is to start off our Premier League season strong as we face Wolves as well as Chelsea. First press conference as Leicester boss. Let's get this one underway. How are preparations going? I'm just going to say we've got a lot of quality in this squad and with that the morale goes up. Morale is going to be so key for us in this series because a lot of our players are going to get huge stat boosts if we do keep them happy. Can the team avoid finishing in a low position? I'm going to say the squad is capable because I feel they are. I mean this shouldn't be a question for Leicester City. We shouldn't be fighting a relegation battle this season. Top half is a must. Will Tuanzebe make his debut? You know what? I'm going to take the leap of faith and give him his debut in this upcoming game. I know it's risky, but I'm going for it. Before we begin our Premier League season, let me just ask you guys, what do you all think would be a realistic aim for us this season? I'm thinking top six would be like the dream, but top eight, we should be finishing in the top eight with the team we've got. So... Let's hope we can achieve our goals and maybe find ourselves in the Europa League and if somehow through a miracle in the Champions League maybe. But I think that's, that's just thinking way too much. Let's focus on starting off the season strong. Before we get into our first game, I definitely want to give you guys a tactical brief to you know how I'm looking to play with this Leicester side. So instructions wise, I want Barnes to cut inside. I think it could be really good with that. Jamie Vardy, of course, to get in behind defenses. Ayose Perez to stay forward and get into the box to kind of act like a secondary striker. I want Madison to get forward to have shooting opportunities. T. Elements, Tino, stay in midfield and control the game. And Didi to stay back while attacking. Chilwell and Pereira to bomb forward. And, you know, of course, our defenders to, you know, defend. So, that's my tactical approach. I know it seems basic. I'm hoping it still works. Leicester City versus Wolves. This is going to be an exciting game in the Premier League at the King Power Stadium. We're playing in front of our own fans for the first time. Our very first game in the series. And this is how I've got the team lined up. Jamie Vardy starting up front, Ayose Perez in the lineup, Barnes as well. Basically, the strongest possible 11 I could go for, apart from maybe Tzwanzebe, who I am giving his debut. A bit of a gutsy move, but I'm hoping it works out well. Madison, Vardy, we'll need big performances from them in our first game of the season. Let's get right into it. Our first game at the King Power Stadium, definitely going to try and make this a memorable one. I'm really hoping we can start off our Premier League season with a win. But we're up against a tough side with some quality players. They've got a good keeper in Rui Patricio. They've got Ruben Neves as well, Yota. It's going to be a tough challenge. Inside to Jamie Vardy. I'm looking back to Madison now. Here we go on the attack. Here's James Madison looking to create something for us. Madison goes for the cross, but the cross was probably not the right option. Here we go, Madison. Maybe in behind to Jamie Vardy. This is where we're going to be lethal this season. Jamie Vardy now, 1v1. Go on, Vardy. First goal of the series. No, on the rebound, Madison scores. And it does stand because Madison was onside. Leicester City get their first goal of the Premier League. And it comes from James Madison making a run deep from midfield. Jamie Vardy probably should have scored that, but I'll, I'm not going to complain. I'll take it. 1-0 Leicester City, Madison scoring our very first goal of this series. I mean, I know it was a simple rebound, but he still had to get there and find himself in that position. 1-0 up against Wolves, such an important goal. Back to Raul Jimenez, he looks to play it in behind to Ruben Neves, he's in a dangerous spot. He gets behind there, but saw Yunku with a very strong clearance. Jota's proving to be extremely dangerous inside to Ruben Neves. And Tuanzebe couldn't win that as it's Yota now again, but Ricardo Pereira does really well to defend there. Oh no, we've given the ball away to Wolves as now Raul Jimenez might have a chance here to cause us problems. That's a brilliant challenge from Tuanzebe, our new signing. Good to see him already having an impact. Wolves again on the attack, Yota putting this one back in and we couldn't defend that. Raul Jimenez equalizes just before the halftime whistle. A frustrating moment to concede, that's for sure, but I've got to say Wolves deserve this because... They've been really knocking on our door because we have just haven't been good enough, especially after scoring that first goal. They've been creating a few chances here and there, and this one they've taken really well. We've got to respond in the second half. Now inside to Ndidi, as I see, Ayose Perez out wide, a good pass into his path. 
I'm going to try and bring it back in. Ndidi now on the ball. Still Ndidi. Looks for Ayose Perez. Back to Ndidi. I think I've ruined the attack. Although Jamie Vardy now on the ball. Still Vardy. We know he's got the pace. Vardy 1v1. He's got to score that. He is going to score that. What a goal from Jamie Vardy. As Leicester City take the lead once again in this game against Wolves. He does his mannequin celebration. What a finish though from Vardy. He was denied that first goal after the rebound was converted by Madison. The keeper made a good save there. But here Vardy showed clear determination. He got past his man and then banged it home. Leicester City lead 2-1 against Wolves. Madison looks for Harvey Barnes. Now releases Tielemans opportunity for him as well to score. And that's a brilliant finish from Yuri Tielemans. Making a deep run from midfield. Finding himself in that position. And to finish that with his weaker left foot. Brilliant. Of course he does have a 5 star weak foot. So we can't really call his weak foot weak. So fair play to him for that. But stunning finish as we now make it 3-1. This could be an important goal in this game. Because I think a 2 goal cushion should be enough. Perfect time to make a substitution. I reckon we're going to be bringing on Demire Gray as well as All Brighton. Let's hope these two can have an impact. Raul Jimenez goes for Yota and well, 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 Kasper Schmeichel proving to be a solid keeper for us as he pulls off an incredible save. But Wolves do have a bit of fight left in them. It's a corner to be taken by Jean Moutinho. Can we get it away? No, we can't. Ricardo Pereira with the crucial header there. Otherwise, that would have been 3-2 and game on. And this is where Jamie Vardy is just absolutely ruthless. Just look at the pace of this man. He's just unstoppable. Jamie Vardy, can he score? Oh, come on. On the rebound, hitting the post there. That is just so unlucky. That deserved a goal. What a run from Vardy. Oh, here we go now. Jamie Vardy with another chance. This time, can he convert? Can we make it 4-1 in extra time? We can. Jamie Vardy is having a party in his very first Premier League game this season as he scores his second of the game. Leicester 4-1 against Wolves. What a performance from James Madison as well as Vardy who's now scored. I mean, this you expect Vardy to score. He could have easily had a hat-trick in this game. Class finish there from Jamie Vardy. What a start to our Premier League season. We've beaten Wolves 4-1. I've got to say the scoreline doesn't represent how this game went because Wolves gave us a tough fight. It could have easily been 2-1 to them at any point, but... We fought through and we get ourselves our very first win of the season. What do you make of such a strong debut? I've got to say, man, Axel Twanzebe was flawless. Apart from maybe that one goal we conceded, he's already proving to be a quality signing. And I'm hoping he can keep this up. I'm just going to say, I don't want to put unnecessary pressure on him because he's just a new signing and he's still very young. And with that, his morale just shot up. Were you expecting a more competitive match? I'm just going to say, give them full credit because they actually gave us a tough fight. We were just really more clinical, I guess. Oh man, Chelsea are a sneaky club. Just before our game against them, they want to try and unsettle us by signing Jamie Vardy. You guys think we're going to fall for that? Nah man, no way. Jamie Vardy is going nowhere. Just received a message from Axel Twanzebe. I've been in pretty good form lately and I'm feeling good, so I hope you're not going to bench me for the game against Chelsea. Now initially, I planned on playing Johnny Evans instead of him, but you know what? Let's give Twanzebe the game because he was so good in that last one. We've got to trust the youth, so I'm just going to say I'll consider it. Chelsea versus Leicester City away at the Stamford Bridge. A massive game for us and I'm hoping we can get some sort of a result from this game. And because of how good we were against Wolves so recently, I'm going with the same exact lineup. So we've got Jamie Vardy, Barnes, Madison, Twanzebe, Kasper Schmeichel, all of them starting. And I'm hoping we can produce a similar result. It's going to be a lot harder because it's Chelsea. They've got a good team. This is going to be a tough challenge. That's the Chelsea team we're facing. They've got some quality players in there. Pulisic, Willian, Jorginho, Kovacic, N'Golo Kante, of course. Alonso, Rudiger. This is going to be a tough one. Here we are at the Stamford Bridge for the first time in this series. Should be an exciting stadium to play at. But I'm hoping we can get at least a point from this game. Here's Willian. He's almost gotten past me there. And wow! Willian, I cannot believe this man. Within seconds, we've actually conceded. Chelsea won, Leicester nil. I don't know why I didn't put in a challenge there. I was just afraid of, you know, tripping Willian and a penalty being called. And that's why, for some reason, I backed off with Soyunku. And that cost me there. That cost me heavy. As Willian puts Chelsea in the lead, this is not a good start. Oh, that's brilliantly done there by Ayose Perez. And now Madison could be pushing forward here for something. Go on, Madison. Cut back into Jamie Vardy. Shoots first time and he's denied. In fact, Vardy was offside anyways. Kovacic. Oh, in behind to Giroud. Oh, we survived that. We really survived that. If that was Giroud's left foot, probably a goal for them. So, we got lucky. Kovacic. 
Cross comes in, Pulisic completely empty, what was that for defending? Chelsea make it 2-0. Like, come on, what kind of defending that was? I know it's an away game, I know it's Chelsea, but we've got to be defending better than that. Like, come on. Jamie Vardy with pace. Vardy on that right foot, tries to curl it in and almost. I thought that was in for a moment. So close to being a brilliant goal from Vardy there. So we're in the second half now and I've got to say I'm a bit disappointed with that first half performance. We really didn't play well at all. I'm hoping for something better in the second half. But this just shows, man, we've got a lot of work here to do. It's not going to be an easy season. I think we need to change something because clearly things aren't working. So I'm going to bring on Demaira Gray for Ayose Perez and hopefully that pace could help us out maybe down that right flank. Here's Ndidi on the ball. Doing really well. Finds Vardy. It's now James Madison. Inside to Tielemans. Oh, beautifully done to find Demaira Gray who shoots and that's a big save from the keeper. What a pass from Yuri Tielemans. Vardy does brilliantly. Releases Yuri Tielemans. Tielemans back into Jamie Vardy. This could be a chance for Jamie Vardy to grab one. That's got to be a foul. How's that not a foul? Jamie Vardy was stripped just because he didn't go down the ref and give a penalty for that. That is outrageous. No way. Full time and that's a tough loss to take. Chelsea 2, Leicester 0. I kind of feel like we deserved at least a goal from this game. But to be fair, Chelsea were the better team and well, the better team did win. So first loss of the season, I told you guys, man. This series isn't going to be easy. It's going to be a tough challenge, but I'm up for it. Fair to say it was a tough match. Where do you think it went wrong today? I'm just going to say the blame is mine because I don't want to be blaming my players within like a week of joining the club. What went wrong today? I mean, they were the better team. Like, they've got so many good players. We don't really have that many good players. And well, that was the difference. Well, at least Tuanzeb is happy that we played him, but... To be fair, he wasn't that good in that previous game against Chelsea. So this is where we are in the Premier League after two games in 11th position with three points. Of course, it's too early to make any kind of judgments looking at the league table. We've only had two games. Right now, Liverpool though are league leaders. Next episode should certainly be exciting. We've got a couple of Premier League games that do look winnable. And interestingly enough, we've drawn Liverpool in the Carabao Cup's early rounds. So... That's going to be big. Of course, we're going to have quite a bit of transfer action in the next episode, depending on what you guys leave in the comment section. About 32 million to work with. Let me know if you guys have any transfer suggestions. I'm definitely looking to bring in a winger because I do feel like we need one. Before we wrap up today's episode, you guys need to make your vote count for the player of the episode award. A couple of nominees for this one. First one being Yuri Tielemans. I thought the Belgian midfielder was stunning in this game, especially in that first game. He was brilliant with the goal. In the second game against Chelsea, he was literally the only player who was trying to create and that's why he's been nominated. Your second nominee, Jamie Vardy. A brace in our very first game of the series, he just had to be nominated. So Tielemans or Vardy, click the i button on the top right of your screen to vote for either of them. Looking at some of the top deals in the transfer market, we've got Paul Pogba joining Real Madrid, Anthony Martial making his way to Juventus, Oyar Zabal to Barcelona, Depay to Leverkusen, Kramaric to Atletico, any more interesting transfers? Josef Martinez to Manchester United, Aspili Quetta to Juventus, Marcelo to Bayern, Rakitic to Arsenal, that is an interesting one. Luke Shaw to PSG, um, Alex Oxlade Chamberlain leaving the Premier League, any more interesting ones? Mario Goza to Inter, Ryan Fraser to Arsenal. Chiellini to Barcelona. That's interesting. So this is where we're going to wrap up episode number one of the Leicester City career mode series. I'm hoping you guys are pumped for this series because I certainly am. I had a blast recording this first episode and well, let's keep it going. 3000 likes and I'll get you an episode tomorrow. If you are new around here, make sure to subscribe for more FIFA 20 career mode content. Lots to do in this series and I'll see you guys next time.